Hey guys, I thought I'd just bring you along in a little afternoon in the life. Hey there, welcome back to Live and Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. We have my in-laws over and we're watching like a DVD from when they went to Mexico. So it's a little bit loud in here, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. I think I screwed up the rice. <laughs> I decided to make like Mexican rice in my rice cooker and then it just needed more and more liquid and now it's too mushy. But Juan thinks it tastes okay, so you know. I'm kind of disappointed, but we'll see what my in-laws think. And then I'm working on the beans. They're taking forever to get soft today. So that is what I'm working on. And then we're gonna be having some carne asada, which is delicious. So I'm super excited about that. But let's go and check out the little house that Aubrey's building. Aubrey, tell me about your house. Hey, Bubs. Showing the camera your toys. Oh. Oh. That looks really dangerous. <laughs> They do that on purpose? Oh my gosh. Do you want to be on the camera again? Say baby. Bubba. 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 We're just enjoying watching the videos and having the kids kind of play all around us. <laughs> we got Juan and his dad hat grilling up the carne asada. Looks good. What's your favorite part of this one? The smell. <laughs> <laughs> Not eating it? Yeah, eating it too. <laughs> so you were going to tell me or teach me something? Yeah. What would you say? One day. Okay. Teach our viewers too. Buy the most expensive meat. <laughs> Don't buy the cheap stuff. <laughs> Alright, so I'm getting my uh, oil ready to do some fried beans. Hopefully this will turn out better than my rice. All right, it's not looking that bad. Still got a lot of beans boiling, but I'm happy with this so far. Not like I'm feeling with the rice. We got bubs down for a nap and now it's time to eat lunch or lunner, I guess. So lunch was delicious. Uh, and since we have my in-laws here and they want to spend time with Jack, I was like, can I please take a nap? Cause I'm exhausted. I stayed up kind of too late last night and Jack keeps waking up like early in the morning or no early after I like lay him down. And so I'm just haven't gotten as much sleep as I need. And it's just been, I don't know, a tough couple weeks. Cause our both kids were sick with like a cold, I want to say like a week ago and it lasted a week at least and they still kind of have like you know the little runny nose like here and there and so I'm just exhausted from dealing with all of that so I'm very thankful that I can take a nap because normally I can't take a nap obviously when Jack is awake so I always wait until he sleeps and he's on a weird nap schedule today so Anyways, I'm rambling and I should take advantage of this. So I will check back in. Juan is gonna try to get um, some footage of Aubrey playing outside with her little sandbox. She's been having fun with that today. So I'm thankful that we have that sandbox from that one previous video. But I, again, I will check back in later after my nap.
So that was a well needed nap. My in-laws have gone home and now I'm just kind of packing up the leftovers. I have to give Juan a haircut and we're just gonna play around a little bit. Hi, Bubba. Bubs, come here. Come here. <laughs> come here. Come here. Bubs. What do you love most about Bubs, Juan? Makes farting sounds. So do you. <laughs> Everyone says our kids look like Juan, but when you look at that hair, I say I have some pretty strong genes myself. You gonna cut his uh, fingernails today? Nope. Ugh, that means I'm gonna be stuck yeah. doing them. Nope. They've uh. been scratching me. He's been like digging his fingers in my nose and mouth, scratching my whole face at church this morning. <laughs> Any other parents have a fear of cutting their kids' fingernails? Cause Juan does, ever since he chopped off some of Aubrey's as a baby. Well, Juan is pushing back his haircut to tomorrow. So what I'm going to do, I made some creme brulee the other day because I had some extra heavy whipping cream left over and then I used egg whites for my Halloween party prep and I had a bunch of yolks left over. So I made creme brulee and I'm gonna be enjoying that and torching it in just a second. It is so good. I think I've you know finally like mastered how long it should be in the oven for. Um, the first time that I, you know, tried it, I did it on this video, I did it on this channel, and it didn't turn out as I was hoping for, but it still tasted delicious, but, you know, now I feel, like, much more confident making it, so if you're ever, you know, visiting, family, friends, whatever, and you want creme brulee, I can make it, I'm your girl, but, uh, that's what I'm gonna enjoy for dessert, and then I have to edit this video and put it up for tomorrow. <laughs> Like I said, the kids were sick, and so that really just kind of like set me back in trying to plan videos or get stuff done, and I, I don't know. I've been feeling just not motivated to do anything lately, and I think that also is due to the fact that I missed a couple days of my medication, so I'm like getting back on that, and hopefully that will help me just kind of like kickstart me into a more productive state, but... We'll see, we'll see what happens. If anything, I'm just glad that the kids are on the mend and that, you know, hopefully we'll be getting back to another, you know, better normal, I guess. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video and supporting my channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.